Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. Today we are going to do a car mukbang again. It has been a long time since I've done this. I went to KFC and I'm going to show you what I have first. I'm going to take a sip of my coconut milkshake. They only have this in the summer. Mm. They also have pieces of Oreo on top of it. So good. We have a variety bucket. We have some sauces. I have barbecue sauce and some mayo for the fries. Also have a portion of Coslab more sauce. Also some garlic buttermilk mayo. Never tried that before. And they have something new in the menu. Boneless hot wings. The same breading, the same taste as hot wings but boneless. So I'm very excited for that. Looks like this. Okay, first going to make a thumbnail. It's still hot, which is a good thing. I'm a very saucy kind of girl. I like my sauces. So I always dip my chicken in some kind of sauce. In this case, I really like the barbecue sauce of, McDonald's, of um, KFC. I'm going to start with the boneless hot wings. It looks like this. I'm going to dip it. Mmm. It does taste like the hot wings, like the normal hot wings, but then boneless. Some people really don't like the bones of the chicken, but I don't mind it actually. Mm. It's raining right now. I love KFC, but it always gives me some kind of stomach ache, <laughs> so I don't eat it that often. Now for the comparison, I'm going to try an actual. Now for the comparison, I'm going to try an actual hot wing with the bones. I'm going to spill. Mm. Mm. I actually like it better to eat it from the bone. Mm. So I really want to do these kinds of mukbang more often, but I was so busy with trying to lose weight that I didn't want to have this whole cheat meal. At the end I didn't lose any weight. So I could have just done that. I always eat my bones very clean. So if you've seen my last video, it's about my career switch. I don't know if you only watch me for my eating or also my life. I'm going away in a few days. I'm so excited. I'm going to Asia for quite a long time. I've got a one-way ticket, so I don't know when I'm going to be back. I'm going to start in Thailand. Thailand has been on my bucket list for so long. I can finally go. Mm. I just love Asia so much. The food, the vibe, just everything. Mm. So first I'm going to Thailand. So excited for the food. I love Thai food so much. Can't wait to try their pad thai and the mango sticky rice in Thailand. I already love it here in the Netherlands. I can imagine how good it must be in Thailand. My itinerary will be four days in Bangkok, two days in Koh Samui, two days in Koh Pipi, and four days in Phuket, I believe. Three or four days in Phuket. 
I'm going to try the drumstick. The chicken is so juicy. There's like so much meat on this drumstick. So after Thailand, I'm going to Bali. I've already been to Bali once and it's so amazing that I wanted to go again. And Bali is just great for digital nomads, which is the lifestyle that I'm going for. And I'm going to try to manifest that in Bali. I'm making such a mess. I just put the skin. I saw that in some countries, their KFC have like only chicken skin as an item on the menu. I love chicken skin. So I actually ordered this inside the KFC because I didn't feel like having social interaction. So I didn't feel like going to the McDrive and actually explaining my order. So I just went inside and used the digital order board. So I didn't have to talk to anyone. It's, um, it's that kind of day. And once I ordered, I didn't got a receipt. So then I had to talk to the people at the counter. So I also really want to go to Japan, but they have some kind of restriction that you can only enter the country if you are guided with some kind of tour guide and that doesn't seem fun. I don't want to have a tour guide, I just want to explore it by myself and eat what I want and go where I want. Mm. Korea is also high on my bucket list. Because I used to watch so much Korean drama. But I kind of grew out of that phase. I just don't have the patience to wait 12 episodes for them to hold hands. Going too slow for me now. I'm going to open a new barbecue sauce. Ooh. And chicken tender. What is your favorite piece of chicken? Mine are the hot wings with bones. But I know some people really like boneless things. I dropped something. Mm. I feel like our generation, like millennials and Gen Z, I'm a millennial. I feel like we are adulting in such a slow pace. Like at my age, my mom already had two kids, two jobs and was taking care of the whole family. <laughs> and I don't know what to do with my life. I also don't want kids yet. I feel like there's so much more to explore and to see and to do for yourself first before you're gonna have kids. But I know that's different for everyone because some people's life purpose is just to have kids and be a mother or father. For me, I just want to enjoy my life to the fullest before having kids so I can give all my attention to the kids for them to give them their best life. But I can do that before giving myself the best life. Because honestly, your life is going to be so much different when you have kids. Because your kids are going to be the priority. And now I can put myself in a priority. 
someone had theory why we are adulting so slowly compared to our parents. And that's basically because the moment you're really adult is when you buy a house or have kids or something. Yeah, buy a house or have kids. But it's so hard for us to buy a house right now because of the house prices. And we are also studying much longer in general than our parents. So it's very difficult for us to buy a house at an early age. Also, we are having children much later. It used to be normal to have like children at the age of 20 till 23. And now, like, if my friend would tell me that she's pregnant, then I would just think like, oh shit, what are you going to do? And then she would be like, what do you mean? I'm old enough to raise a kid. I'm already an adult. I feel like if I'm a mother right now, that I would be a teen mom, but I'm not a teen anymore. I don't know. Job, kids, house or job, house. But especially the kids part, because then you have to take care of another human being. I think that is when you really grow up, when you have to take care of a other human being. I'm so not ready to having kids right now. You cannot travel as much. You can travel, but it's just going to be a whole different journey. Sometimes when I'm sitting on a plane and the baby is crying, I just think, oh my God, it's so difficult to have a baby on a plane. Also, when I was at a Starbucks in Milan, there was like a super pretty woman, kind of Instagram woman, some sort of. And she was having drinks and like a cute pastry and it was played beautifully. And she wanted to make a picture for her Instagram, I suppose. But right before she could make the picture, her kid took the drink and drank it. So her picture was basically ruined. I have a Pepsi Max, by the way. Eventually, I want to have kids. It's just a different chapter of life and I'm not ready to enter that chapter yet. <laughs> yeah. But sometimes I get really bad baby fever when I see cute kids. And sometimes that instantly go away when I see an annoying kid. <laughs> I want a hot one. Oh, there's also some other kind of chicken. What is this? It has gone a little bit soggy because this was on the bottom. I really want to try Jollibee someday, but I want to try it in the Philippines. I've tried it once in Vietnam and it was very disappointing. It was just very different there. I saw my Johnny's video about Jollibee in Vietnam and he also tried Jollibee elsewhere and he said Vietnam is just not a good place to try Jollibee, so I need to try it somewhere else. Maybe I can also do a McDonald's mukbang in Bali, that would be fun. I once went to the McDonald's in Bali and they had Durian McFlurry and it was honestly the best McFlurry I ever had. I love Durian so much. If you don't know what durian is, it's a super stinky fruit, but I just love it. I also don't really think it smells, but it has a really strong smell. In my opinion, it smells delicious. I'm already getting full. Clean. Okay guys, my hand is so dirty. <sighs> okay guys, I'm going to stop myself here because I'm getting kind of full and I don't want to overdo myself. Don't worry, none of this food will go to waste because it will all be eaten at home. I hope you like eating KFC with me and having a small talk. If you did, please like this video and comment down below. I appreciate it so much and I see you in my next video. Mm -hmm.